In 1960, the UNESCO member states established the Intergovernmental Oceanographic Commission of UNESCO. One year later, the IOC creates the International Oceanographic Data and Information Exchange Program. To respond to new challenges faced by the IODE program, the IOC Project Office for IODE is created in Ostend, Belgium. Welcome to the IOC Project Office for IODE, which is the global center where experts meet and where students are trained in oceanographic data and information management. With the opening of the Project Office on the 25th of April 2005, the IODE program creates a home base for IODE. In 2007, the IODE Secretariat moves completely from Paris to Ostend. The Project Office serves as an international meeting and training centre where hundreds of ocean data and information experts gather every year. Since its very beginning, training in ocean data and information management functions as a cornerstone of IODE. I'm attending a course here on quality management framework uh, because back home I'm in charge of uh, coordination of activities in the Oceanographic Data Center, so I believe this is going to be very useful. The particular course that we're doing this week is on quality management framework, and the idea of the course is to uh, train people up so they can uh, become accredited for their um, National Oceanographic Data Center. Ocean Teacher offers short-term technical courses with an important hands-on component. As part of the Ocean Teacher Global Academy, most training courses take place in Ostend. Also, courses in other parts of the world are organised by using the online Ocean Teacher Learning Platform. Mario Cileora Marisale from the Oceanographic Data Center. I'm here to learn more about uh, quality management system. I am from Mauritius and I'm a meteorologist with a CSR uh, Soil Research Institute of Ghana. Since 2012, the project office hosts the Secretariat of the Ocean Biogeographic Information System. OBIS is the largest global open access online data system on the diversity, distribution and abundance of marine species. OBIS information is used around the globe for species conservation, marine spatial planning and sets baselines for marine biodiversity assessments and monitoring. The IODE Project Office provides an important service to its community by hosting and maintaining websites and databases from the IODE member states. Presently, over 80 ocean-related websites and databases are hosted and managed by the Project Office staff. In addition to the scientific and technical staff, the project office team includes Kristen and Lees, who make sure the administration and documentation work runs smoothly. For 10 years now, the project office in Ostend has been the meeting place of thousands of ocean data and information experts from around the globe. The project office is all about building a community of practice.